Faustino and I just made it to Phoenix and we are super excited because today is the day. We are getting our van. You gotta be kidding me. This is like the second van with the same issue. So the frame is cracked too. to our channel of course I'm Tanaj and somewhere not too far from me is my amazing husband Faustino. Faustino and I just made it to Phoenix and we are super excited because today is the day we are getting our van. So we left New Orleans around 4 30 it was still dark and we made it to the airport with not a minute to spare. We were literally the last ones to get on the plane. I really, really hope we make this flight. It is 5.35 and they started boarding five minutes ago. Is this it? The plane ride wasn't bad. We're in Phoenix now and Phoenix is pretty hot. So the first thing we did when we got off the plane was headed straight over to Enterprise. We had to pick up our car and uh, now we're sitting down. We're at, uh, we're at Volvo Vina and we're having the uh, Pawtucket West, which is, uh, let me see, I'm looking on the menu and see what it is. It's a uh, two pancakes, a waffle, two eggs and a meat of our choice and it's about $10. And, uh, so we're about to dig in, see what's going on. get us a bite to eat and then head over to the rider dealership all right guys well we'll see you when we make it there deuces so here we are you guys we finally made it over to rider and we are in the van Faustino's driving how does it feel uh, it's riding nice it rode like the one in uh, Jersey but uh seeing how it rides versus what's really underneath the engine is totally different. Totally different thing. Totally different. Because the one in Jersey kind of rode, it rode smoothly. But then when we took it to the uh, mechanic to be inspected, it wasn't smoothly. So what we're going to do now is find somewhere to get it inspected and then um, we'll see where we go from there. So good morning guys. Today is a new day. Today is actually Tuesday. We left off yesterday. We were uh, test driving the van. Well we took it around to a few garages and they were not able to get it up on the rack. So what we decided to do was to make an appointment and uh, we're back. So it's Tuesday morning. We are on our way to have it inspected. Hopefully everything checks out and we'll be on the road. <laughs> I think it's a rock. It's got to be a rock oh. at the bottom. It definitely has a good pickup. What do you think? It does have a good pickup. It rides nice. Look how tall we are. Like we are right up there with the 18 motors. Okay, so we have realized a couple of things. There it must be some type related. of chip that's regulating the speed because we can't seem to go past 70. And we do realize that when we are going 70 miles an hour, then the wheel kind of shakes a little bit. Now that can be for a couple of reasons I read. One could be because of the uh, tire pressure. So we're going to try and get that checked out. And we also noticed that there's like a little rattle, I would say like a little rattle and it sounds like it's coming from the right side so like we said we're gonna go and get it put on the machine right now and while we're there oops excuse me that was way too much boot for you hold on and then while we are there what we'll do is uh we'll have the man check that out and any other concerns that we might have but other than that i don't know it, it feels good the air blows adequately i should say and it rides really, really well. But uh, yeah, we'll let you guys know what he says when we get to uh, the mechanic. So we're back. 
So we made it to the uh, we made it to the mechanic and the car is actually being checked out right now. So what Faustino and I are gonna do is probably go and get, I'm sorry, I almost dropped the camera. So what we're gonna go and do is probably go and get some coffee. There's a shell next door. They are about to put it on the rack, if you can see in the back. Yeah, that's a weird one. Yeah, that's a And uh, child, fingers crossed, we're gonna go from there. We're gonna go from there. So Faustino and the guys are out there now and they are looking under the van. They already have it lifted up. So here's the moment of truth, you guys. Power steering lines right here. Okay. Uh, rack and pinion is leaking. Rack and pinion, okay. Um, looks like you got some, some leakage up there, either coolant or from the rust, from the salt. Uh, that's eating up the, uh, the rubber hoses. Yeah. Mm. And then the transmission pan is leaking pretty good. Oh. Got a lot of fluid right here though. Okay. Yeah, look at all this. Oh wow. Transmission okay. pan. Okay. Needs to be connected. And for it split like this. It got hit real hard. Yeah. Or, or yeah. somebody put a jack. And raised it up and right there it right and it busted yeah. idiots. Man, it is, it is so freaking hot and bright out here. So currently we're back at the rider. Place. We had to, uh, we're gonna check some other vehicles out. This one had some issues. Um, so we're just in the office, just looking for some more vehicles on, on the place, and that's it. All right. So this is where we are right now, guys. Unfortunately, the van that we just took to the mechanic, it has a leak. It not only has a leak, but it has two gaping holes in the frame. So, um, Clearly we're going to have to walk away from this one as well. And um, there's a couple of other vehicles here that we're going to take a look at. I mean, because we're already here in Arizona and, and like we've already spent money on the hotel, on the car, on, on the flight. So we're trying not to lose money in the process, but it's a very, very hard process, unfortunately. So we're going to take a look at another vehicle, hopefully, um, Hopefully this one is okay, but at this point, I don't know. It's uh, it's not really looking so good. So here's our second vehicle. Uh, this is a 2500. The previous one was a 3500, and we're getting it checked out here at Kingston's Prentice Garage. Thank you. 38th week of 2017. Uh -huh. So that could be why it's running a little rough as these tires are old and dry. Okay. So these are the guys that checked out our vehicles. Let's say thanks. Thanks to What's your name? John and Sam. Sam. John and Sam. All right. Okay, so not that this has anything to do with the van, but Faustino and I just saw a dispensary. So we're going to turn around and check it out. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do at this point. Right now I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed and undersatisfied because we came here for a particular van and unfortunately that van has not only one crack under the bottom but it has two. So it's like are we even meant to have a van at this point? Because I don't know anyone else that have had the amount of issues like we've had. I don't know anyone else. I could feel the mist. So yeah, I guess I'm feeling the same way my wife's feeling. Uh, come out for one thing and then it just changes and it kind of does change everything. It makes you feel like, sorry I had to move the camera. There's like, because of the heat here, they have these sprinklers, cause a mist. So as I was saying, uh, feeling a little down, yeah. I guess uh, you came here for one thing and then you didn't get it. It's a very stressful situation. Like tonight, said, I were we even meant to have one? Um, it's a lot going on. Guess what? It's me again. So, okay. Yesterday, we kind of left off on a bad note because seriously, we were really having a hard day. I mean, it's so mentally exhausting because we didn't get exactly what we came down here for. But, you know me, and I am such a positive thinker, sometimes I do have 
moments where I'm disappointed and I lose sight of the bigger picture but today is a new day I feel really refreshed I mean it things don't always happen the way the exact way that you want them to happen but if you keep working at them they will eventually happen so anyway we are back at the dealership um, we made some phone calls and they have another van that we're gonna take a look at and I feel good about this one and I know I felt good about the last one and I felt good about the one before that but guess what I really really feel good about this one and I think that we are actually gonna leave with the van so with that being said what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go inside we're going to uh, take a look at the van we're gonna have the van checked out again because remember now this guys if you learn nothing else from our experience know that it's very very important to get the vehicle inspected before purchase so we are gonna definitely walk away with um, with a few lessons but hopefully you are too without further ado I'm gonna put the camera away and I'm gonna go and look at our new truck because I am claiming it it is mine and there you have it deuces are you are you ours I think this is so this is how she looks in the inside you guys of course this is the wall that uh that we're gonna have to take down hold on a second we are currently at the second mechanic. mechanic. We're at actually at Marzucci Imports in uh, Gilbert, Arizona. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, they have the van up on the rack now and they're looking at it. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically get an estimate for the things that we found wrong with it on yesterday. And uh, we'll see where that goes from there. Hopefully, this can all be taken care of either by the end of the day or by tomorrow. That's it. We're going to basically just... Uh I'm gonna hang out in the uh, waiting room here at uh, Marzucci uh, Imports, and and we'll keep you guys updated. Yes. We'll definitely keep you updated. It seems like a pretty cool spot. Everyone around is uh, is pretty cool, and um, they have really good coffee. They do. It's <laughs> Keurig. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we'll check back in in just a second. Deuces. Mm -hmm. Casino and I have stopped at Pieology uh, to pick up a pie. What we thought that we were going to do was get the cauliflower crust. And because it's cauliflower, we figured, hey, it's going to be, I mean, it's keto. So we're good with that. Well, we're not because the lady just told us that, yes, it is cauliflower. It is made with rice flour and it's 68 grams of carbs. Okay, so, you guys, to sum up the day, we have, um, we've chosen a vehicle. Yeah. And uh, thank you so very much. We've chosen a vehicle and uh, we just have some final steps and the process will be done, hopefully. Hopefully. So this is like the third van that we've looked at and I'm assuming that third time's the charm because it didn't have any cracks no. in the frame. Just two little minor issues, which is a power steering pump and a transmission gasket, which, you know, it's just normal wear and tear. And the dealership that we're gonna get it from is actually gonna take care of it, so right so it's uh, even better yeah we're gonna put it on the road it's gonna have a a new wheel alignment a new power steering pump they're checking the transmission fluids they're topping up all the rest of the Everything. fluids we're gonna do what else are we getting um, done front wheel alignment we uh air filters oil change, oil change. Uh, basically everything it's gonna get the works before it's we getting hit the road the works. i'm so happy for uh, her right. Good morning guys, good morning, good morning. So guess what, hold on. Of course I have to find some some better light. So guys, we are back at Ryder and we are here, why? Because we are getting the van today. I am so, so super happy. Yeah, so today we are actually here picking up the van. Faustino and I are gonna go and fill out the paperwork. Uh, we're gonna get our temp tag and then we are going to take the van over to the mechanic because remember, they had some issues that uh, we wanted to get taken care of before we hit the road. But other than that, we are here. And that over there, that's the new van. 
So guys, we are finally here, finally doing it after, I want to say... A week. Almost <laughs> a week. Yeah, so today is Friday. You guys know that we made it here on Monday and we're signing the papers and we are going to hit the road after this. I am so extremely happy that this process is almost over. Yes. I'm in the car, I'm in a rental car, and Faustino is actually in the van in front of me. We're going to take the van over to the mechanic. We're going to drop it off, and he's going to work on it. I think he said it's going to take about four hours. So we just made it to mechanic, and we are dropping her off here, and we do believe that she's in good hands. We'll be back, babes. We are about to pick up the van. The van is actually right behind me. I think Faustino is just tying up the loose ends. But this place has been absolutely amazing, guys. When I tell you that we've had the best customer service here, they are the absolute bomb.com. Best stop in here. Thank you. Have a good trip, man. Be safe. Thank you. We'll follow you guys on your journey. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. We're going to tell everyone we know about this place. Yeah, you guys are absolutely wonderful. We really appreciate Thank you. it. We appreciate it. All right. Have a you good like one. You like the back? Okay. Okay. Don't be wearing shirts. We will not forget. <laughs> Thank you. So take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. Oh, I wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight 